Should I train a custom large language model or use an proprietary one? In this video, I will show you how you can cripple your business by following the wrong choice. Hi there, I'm Calvin Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI show. You know, many customers ask us if they should go with a proprietary, like a closed solution for large language models or an open source solution. And our answer is most of the time the same answer, which is if you are asking yourself this question, you should most likely go with a proprietary LLM. In this video, I will tell you why. What do I mean by a proprietary LLM or generative AI tool? I mean one that is held, that is provided by a third party, by a third company, and you pay a fee or a license per use, okay? The most common examples here are, for example, ChatGPT, Journey, GPT-4, uh, etc. So in these cases, you, not, you cannot control the model, you just pay per use. For the case of open source LLMs, you control and you have access, full access to the model. And in this case, for example, I mean by examples such as Yama, Falcon, you don't pay directly for using the models, but you know, hey, let me tell you a secret. You have to pay for the infrastructure and the lack of focus that you will invest in holding these AI models on your side. So why so many customers ask us this question? Mainly because of two factors, trust and cost. So let's start with trust. They are afraid that OpenAI or any other third party tool will steal or will use their data for training or for fine tuning their models. You need to check their terms and conditions. At least for the OpenAI case, if you're using the paid API service, they, they say they are not training with your data. If you're using the UI, the interface, yes, they do. But if you're using the paid API, they, they say they don't use your data. So it's just a matter of whether or not you trust them on complying with their terms and conditions. But hey, let's say you don't trust them. Then you have to host this tool somewhere, most likely on the cloud. And in that case, you have to trust your cloud provider then they won't use the data that you are supplying here. So it's the same thing. It's a matter of who you are trusting in this case. The second aspect is cost. So they're assuming OpenAI or any provider they are using has a cost while the open source LLM are free and they are wrong. Whenever you are using an open source LLM, you have to host the solution somewhere. You have to support the infrastructure. So this has two types of costs. One cost is the actual cost that you will pay for the infrastructure for those servers. And the other cost is the focus, the lack of focus that you are losing from your company, that you are stealing for your company to put it into controlling and supporting this infrastructure. So how do I make a choice between proprietary AI tools and open source one? I will tell you now. But before moving forward with that, I have a special request for you. If you have gained some value from any of my videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. So most of you out there that are using generative AI, large language models, somehow into your company, you are not building a new AI model, you are not building a new AI product. You are just using these LLMs to optimize a certain process internally. So it's not that critical to hold the IP or to own the IP of these AI models. So your whole focus and attention should be on validation and time to market. And this is something you gain simply by wrapping an off-the-self solution, whatever it is. Also, this technology is still on early stages, so it's very immature. So if you stick to a single technology and you just fine tune your own custom large language model, I can almost guarantee that in three months from now, your technology will be outdated and won't be as good as the latest state of the art LLM technologies. Finally, you will lose focus on the business side to support this infrastructure. And in entrepreneurship, focus is king. Yes, you will pay the price for using it, but open source doesn't necessarily mean free. You will pay the price for supporting this infrastructure. Yes, you won't control the asset, the LLM, but hey, you rely on many partners to do many other activities. You just need to think if this activity is critical or not to have it internal in your company. Your focus, your goal is to make your business work and you should leverage the, the experience and the work of others so you can focus on controlling and improving your business. And hey, most likely training large language models is not the core of your business. So Calvin, you are telling me that I should never go with an open source uh, custom large language model solution? No, there are some cases where you should do it. For example, if your data is so sensitive that you don't want to take the risk, or maybe you are not even allowed to take the risk of exposing or sharing this data with a third party. Or where the tool, the product that you are building with this LLM is part of your core product and you want to control the IP because that will be part of the value of your company. In any other case, my current opinion as today is that you should go with a plug and play solution that doesn't force you to increase the boarding, the operational cost of you know, having, losing the focus and keeping on top 
of how these models are performing on keeping them up to date with the state of the art and on top of this having to improve your business so don't steal your focus from your company once the generative ai llm technology is mature and most importantly once your company is mature on what's required to embrace ai internally maybe at that point it's time to think about training custom llms before that it's just not the right time on top of the human challenges and the business challenges that you will have to include the AI into the model, you will be adding the technical challenges on top of it. If you want to know more about this, check out our previous two videos on generative AI risk and how to mitigate them. Remember, if you like this video, like and subscribe. See you soon.